This generation of men is disgustingly weak. I'm completely dissatisfied with the level of discipline, maturity, and masculine and biblical principles that are present in our modern generation of men. Men in these times are totally ignorant to ideas of stoicism, wisdom, biblical masculinity, being a gentleman. These ideas are almost com almost extinct in young men. Completely and utterly unappreciated, might I say. Your great-great-grandfather. Most men are maybe a, a fifth of the man that their great-great-grandfathers were at their age. What were men doing 200 years ago at 16? They weren't playing video games. <laughs> they weren't fapping to League of Legends characters. They weren't eating junk food every day. They weren't indulging in m meaningless, miscellaneous ventures. They were going to war. They were getting married. They were having children. They were developing their craft. They were developing a business. What do men of this say? So that's men of 16 back then, right? Doing all those things. What are men of 16, 16 years of age, that is, doing now? Well, of course, there's someone like us, definitely me, hopefully you, that are developing themselves, that are developing ideas of stoicism, chivalry, biblical masculinity. But for the most part, those are totally alien terms to most men that are 16. Most men that are 16 are totally and utterly addicted to social media, death scrolling every day, rotting their brains, vaping, indulging in meaningless romantic relationships that will never benefit them, that can only gratify their lust, but over time, destroy them. We've seen it many times. You know, there's all kinds of things we could go into, but that's, that's not the point. So, we see men of our times are almost helpless, it seems. Helplessly drowned in free time. Pay attention to the word free time. Men 200 years ago, 16, they didn't have free time. They didn't have eight hours a day to play video games. You see, they didn't have time to death scroll on TikTok, YouTube shorts. Because they were at war. They were taking care of their family. They were providing for their family. They were developing their trade so that they could make money, so that they could eat. You understand? They had a lack of free time because they were trying to survive. This is how we should treat our lives. This is, that's, getting rid of free time has been one of the greatest things I've done in my self-improvement journey thus far. Because to this point, I haven't been able to say I'm completely giving up video games. Haven't been able to do it. But getting rid of free time, I can't play video games. Because I'm making videos, I'm doing other things. I can't. I don't have the time to play video games. So I've essentially given up video games without even having to say that I've given them up. If you're like me and it was too hard to say I'm never playing video games again, then getting rid of free time is a way to essentially give up some bad habits without actually giving them up. You just kind of force yourself into doing it without actually doing it. Get rid of free time. You will play video games less. You will spend less time on TikTok. And you'll be able to focus on the skills that mean the most to you. Developing your craft, your trade, figuring out what you actually want to do with your life.
by studying our forefathers, we can begin to be the men that we need to be, the men we were supposed to be. I'll tell you a story. My great great grandmother got married when she was 15 years old. Started having children when she was 15 years old. <coughs> that is younger than me. Now you could say, oh, she was just, you know, a, a, a lusty woman back in the 1920s, you know, all filled with lust, you know, of course, there are people like that, but people back then, it was not uncommon to get married at 15, 16, 17, not uncommon, happened a lot, people back then were significantly more mature than people are nowadays, significantly more mature, and we should strive to have that level of maturity. Now, I'm not saying go out and get married at 15, but I am saying we should strive for that level of human maturity. The maturity that your forefathers had, the maturity that your great-great-grandmother had or great-great-grandfather. My other great-great-grandfather on my other side of the family was a trainer. He trained mules for the Calvary in World War I. Is that not, like, super cool? Training mules for the Calvary in the First World War? Is that not, like, stupendous and beautiful? Totally masculine? He once killed a mule because it was misbehaving with one swing of a two-by-four. It's a story that's been told for many generations. I have that inside of me. And you have things like that inside of you, from your forefathers. Imagine the stories of your, of your great-great-grandfather, of your, even your grandfather that they did when they were young, that just never got told, were lost in time. The the amazing stories that were told, the, the great things that they did, the totally masculine and fulfilling things that they did at young ages, the totally mature things that they did at those ages, that have just been lost in time. And the thing is, they were lost in time because they were thought less about. That's the way it was supposed to be. People were supposed to be mature back then. People were supposed to be doing great things. People were supposed to be protective, productive and mature back then. So it wasn't special. That's why those stories didn't get passed down. You weren't unique or special for being mature and masculine. You were born that way. That's how you were, you were just built to be that way through society. Society sculpted you to be what you were. Today's, oh my gosh, I love that. I have to write that down. Today's society sculpts us to be who we are not. Correct and old society sculpted us to be who we are. You see? Because men back then, they didn't have to try to be masculine because their father raised them to be. Society raised them to be through trials and tribulations and struggles and physical work. sad that we have to try, that we have to venture off by ourselves to teach ourselves how to be men. It's a disgrace. But we have to do it, or no one else will.